till now uh, i did not uh, tell you the abbreviation of hana so i assume that all of you must be knowing that by now but if you're not then this is a high performing analytical appliance so it's, it's weird if they call it an appliance so why are they called an appliance so it is called an appliance because it is uh, innovation uh, where software and hardware both are changed it's not just a software it's not not just an hardware it's a combination of software hardware and also the design so the whole package they they uh, termed it as an appliance so therefore initially hana was called an appliance but later on the concept came that okay hana is not just an appliance but also a platform so why is hana called a platform so when do we call something a platform so whenever we can build uh, something we can deploy we can run we can test we can maintain a complete business on a software that software is called a platform so as hana did everything so now um you may not need a, a erp sap system if you have a hana system you can build your own applications you you can deploy them and you can run and and you can still still uh, do your business so it might not be uh, that simple as i speak but technically you can de develop your own uh, applications on a hana database itself and you do not need a uh, application layer and a presentation layer so so that's why it's called an app platform because you can build deploy and run so but how can hana act like a platform so that's a question the hana scientist uh, what they did was that inside the hana database they fit in a small lightweight application server so the, it is called as an xx xs server or the application server and with the help of this application server and not to confuse as i said earlier this application layer is not the application layer which is on top of hana this is a application another application which is lightweight and it is inside hana so inside hana there is a database and also an application layer and all fully functional independent applications can be developed using native hana so remember we had a role as native hana developers so those guys can build you applications on top of this hana database and application or access server so it can talk to the browsers uh, and it can talk to other tools and do all the functionalities which you can think of using that hana so therefore this hana is not only a database it's not only an appliance but it is a platform now in the next slide in the next slide uh, we'll break this hana database into multiple parts and we'll dive deeper into it and probably you will have a better clarity why this is not just an appliance but a platform too